All right, welcome back to Blue Collar Homestead. Today's video, we are going to do, whoops, a little fabricating. We are going to fabricate a, an axle bearing puller out of some stuff we got laying around. Had to replace an axle bearing on the Lincoln, and uh, right now it's all torn apart. I did order the pieces, but uh, I need to get this bearing out, so... Rather than going and buying a bearing puller that I'm probably only going to use one time, I figure, you know what, I got a welder, I got some steel, and I got some skills. So why not just make my own, hang it on the wall if I ever need it again, it's there and it really isn't going to cost me anything. So let's uh, have a look here at the Lincoln, you can kind of see what's going on. Let me get the camera flipped around and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, you can see we got to get that bearing out of there so we are going to fabricate a piece that'll fit in behind there and then something with a slide on it to kind of get that out of there so let's get everything set up and then uh we'll go over the plan all right this is a chunk of the old bed frame that we love to make everything out of all i did was i traced this with a, a silver sharpie i'm going to cut this and i'm probably going to end up welding a lug nut on this at some point and then uh, I think we're going to use a piece of rebar and a piece of pipe to make a slide. This piece will have to be detachable so we can slip it in and then turn it and then thread in, you know, our piece of rebar. I'll probably end up screwing a, or uh, welding a stud to the end of the piece of re rebar off of the axle that we pulled out because the new axle comes with new lug nuts, new studs, all that stuff. So let me get this cut and we'll get to it. All right. You have the one side cut that I trace. Now, this is the side... This is going to go inside the axle, so I can't have these. It'll never fit in there. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to use this roll of tape. I'm going to make my line here, and we're going to cut all this off. So this will be like that. That'll that there'll keep this from wanting to bend when we start, you know, applying pressure to it to get the bearing out. So let me get that cut, and we'll be right back. All right, you can kind of see what I did here. I drilled the holes through this. You see the bolt sticking out the bottom. This bolt is going to get welded into a pipe. I ended up not using a lug nut in this stud because this was a little bit smaller, so it would fit in the axle easier. But we're going to weld this nut to this plate. Then we're going to unscrew this bolt and, and weld this bolt into a piece of pipe and make the slide end of this. So uh, stick around. Let's get this welded. All right, that should do it for that. Now, let's pull the clamp off of here. I'm gonna dump a little water on that to cool it off. There we go. That's better. I guess that's the beauty about doing this outside. So, shut the welder off. We're not gonna need that for a couple of minutes. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's unscrew this. Oh, that looks like it came out pretty good. I gotta stick this in here. Let this cool off a little bit more. All right, now I gotta get a wrench to get that out of there. Let's see. There we go. Sometimes when you do this, it, it's, I don't know if it's because the bolt's hot or whatever, but all right, I think this will work out nicely. Yeah, we're gonna take this and weld it into the end of a pipe. Let's see what I'm talking about. Let me, uh, let me see how this thing fits in the differential. All right, what I'm gonna do here is to get this in the rear end and be able to get it to flat so I can get the, the bolt started. I'm going to grind a slot here and a slot here, and then I'm going to put a zip tie in there. So when I slide this in the rear end like this and bring it back like that, I can use the zip tie to pull it and then thread the bolt in there to hold it in place. So let me get that done, and then we're going to go see how this works. All right, let's see how this guy works now. I'm going to do is slide that in there. Use this to bring it back. Uh, looks like a second this thing might be a little too big yeah i think we got to grind it down a little more 
yeah, what's going on here is I gotta grind a little more off here and off here to make it fit because once you get past this bearing, the tube is actually a little bit smaller. So we're gonna have to grind some of this off on both sides and then come back. Round off a little bit on each side. I think, no, it's still gotta go a little bit more. It's pretty close. But you get the gist of it. Now I can screw this in here. And when this is welded to that other piece of pipe, I'll be able to use this as my, my slide, you know, to slide back and forth to get this out. This is still a little bit snug though, so I think we're going to grind a little bit more off of it. So we'll be right back. All right, now you can see we got this part done. That's the part that's gonna go inside the axle tube. What I'm gonna do is this piece of pipe slides inside this one. This is a little long, I'll probably cut, cut this in half get rid of half of it I'll slide this on here I'll weld something on the end probably a piece of rebar like that so this can't fly off and then this guy it's gonna get welded right in the end of that like that that way that will screw into the other piece so let me get this all welded together and fabricated and then uh, once it's done I'll show you what's up we'll go over there and we'll give it a try all right I think that'll work for that let's cool it off I got to clean up this pipe We'll cut the other one and uh, we'll get that piece of rebar welded on the other end. All right, I think we got it. Everything's put together. I've just got this thing cooling off a little bit. Like I said, this is one of them things I'm probably not going to use very often, hopefully. If I keep having to replace bearings in that rear end, something else is going on. But let's have a look here. Now, it went over this piece with the zip tie. This slides in the rear end. I'll hold this. I'll come up with this this will thread into there like that and I got my slide you see I welded a big fat washer on the end of this only thing is I didn't have a, a washer big enough to go around this definitely got to watch your hand this we're getting pinched right here so let's go over to the car and try this thing out and see how it works all right the moment of truth is upon us so let's see how this thing works first I'm going to slide this in there. The zip tie is very important. It goes in there angular. It's kind of sideways like that. Now I'll thread this in here. One way or another. Somehow. Oh, I get it in there. There we go. Now it's getting in there. All right, I'm going to thread this in as far as it'll let me go. The last thing I want is for that piece to be stuck in there. So. or something yeah there's maybe not enough weight on this <sighs> yeah that bearing's not moving a, an inch not a, not budging at all so yeah I might have to add some weight to the handle to get that to work to get a little more power behind it but uh don't you worry, I got a plan for that. Yeah, it's coming. Now I can see it coming out. Uh-oh. Now it's got to come out. The zip tie just broke. There we go. That's the old bearing. It's out of there. So... Apparently my idea worked. I'm not so crazy after all. <laughs> all right, well that ended up working out pretty good. I did, however, have to add some weight to the handle. So what I did was I got this old brass hammer with the handle missing, just to add some weight to it. I taped it on the handle and that was enough to get it, get it loose and get the bearing out. So surprisingly there uh, wasn't as many shavings inside that tube as I thought there'd be, but I still got to get that cleaned out. But there's a whole nother video on replacing the bearings in that axle. So this video is just about this. The video, you know, repairing that mess will be coming out shortly after this. But uh, for now, that's it. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with a Harbor Freight flux core welder. 
and a little bit of scrap steel. So, I mean, that axle I pulled out of there that's bad, I'll be using that on something else, another project. Who knows what it's going to end up as. But this definitely save all your old parts and pieces. Like I said, I don't know what this pipe's from. I don't know what, the, well, the bed frame's obviously from, from a bed frame. That's all this piece is. But um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this video up. So like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next one.